Salam, what comes to mind when you think of Uzbekistan? First, Uzbekistan is a land of white gold. Gold is what generates major wealth for Uzbekistan. So does cotton, and therefore referred to as white gold. In addition, Uzbekistan is a land of wrestlers. The traditional upright wrestling originated in Uzbekistan more than 3,500 years ago. It's also the land of thousand shrines, as beliefs related to magic or the healing powers of the saints or sacred places are part of deep-rooted tradition in Uzbekistan. In order to better understand the country of Uzbekistan, home to so many cultures, I will simply divide my presentation into five parts: the land of Uzbekistan, the culture of Uzbekistan, the attractions of Uzbekistan, the food of Uzbekistan, and the sports of Uzbekistan. Now let's go. So. First, let's start the land of Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, officially Republic of Uzbekistan, being one of two doubly landlocked countries in the world, lies in the heart of Central Asia and is bordered by Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Turkmenistan. It occupies an area of. Four hundred and forty-seven thousand square kilometers, roughly the same size of Gansu Province in China. The nation is divided into twelve regions: one autonomous republic and one independent city. The major cities are Tashkent, which is also the capital, Samarkand, Namagand, Andijan, and Bukhara. In 2020, Uzbekistan population was estimated at 3.4 million, according to data collected by the United Nations. At 4,643 meters, Kasrat Sultan is the highest mountain in Uzbekistan. The country is situated between two gigantic rivers. Sayer Daria, the longest river, and Amur Daria. The flag of Uzbekistan is a light blue over white on a light green tricolor, with thin red stripes separating the three stripes. In the uppermost corner is a white crescent and twelve white stars. The som is the currency of Uzbekistan. Its current exchange rate for one Chinese yuan is about one thousand and six hundred and forty-five Uzbekistan som. Uzbekistan experiences four seasons: spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Generally speaking, autumn and spring are the best times to travel to Uzbekistan when the temperatures are pleasant. Second, let's talk about the culture of Uzbekistan. Islam is the national religion, and the population of Uzbekistan is predominantly Muslim. The Uzbek serves as the official language of Uzbekistan. The ancient Persians, Greeks, Arabs. Chinese, Russians, and nomadic Turkic tribes have all contributed to Uzbek culture, which is considered the epitome of Central Asia. To better understand Uzbekistan lifestyle, certain cultural taboos should be noticed. Number one, bread. Don't put bread upside down, as this action is sacred in Uzbek culture. Number two, meal. Don't take off people's hats or cough while eating with gas during meals. Number three, 
Refusing. Don't refuse tea or bread when you are invited. Remember, always accept to taste their bread or to sip a cup of tea with them, which is a sign of respect. Number four, washing. Don't forget to wash your hands both before and after meals, as Uzbeks are very picky about cleanliness. Number five, wearing. Don't wear shorts in public. And remember to cover some open parts of your body, including hands and legs, based on their Islamic faith. Third, let's take a look at the attractions in Uzbekistan. You won't be surprised to learn that the country is home to. Four significant UNESCO World Heritage Sites and six UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage listings. Taking the three following sites as examples, Kiva is the first one in Uzbekistan that was inscribed in 1990, noting its importance in the exceptional heritage of ancient Silk Road traditions. Samarkand, crossroad of culture, is the official moniker, and archaeological excavations have revealed a history which dates back to 3,500 years. The well-preserved historic center of Bukhara, recognized as an exemplary medieval city, has also been an important base for Islamic. Theology and science for several centuries. Tashkent, the large metropolis, reflects the historical development of a country from its architectural monuments of original design to its Soviet planned street layout and its modern glass high buildings. The earliest architectural monument in Uzbekistan is the tomb of Ismail Somoni, dating back to the 10th century. In the Kuslakum Desert, Idakul Lake is a unique place to sleep in a yurt surrounded by desert and ride horses or camels. If you would like to support eco tourism in Uzbekistan, there is a possibility to drive further to Narota Mountains. Fourth, let's move on to the food of Uzbekistan. While you are traveling along the Silk Road, you should embrace the local Uzbek cuisine. Plov. Also called osh, is widely considered to be the national dish of Uzbekistan. You can expect a heaping portion of rice cooked with either lamb or beef, onions, garlic, raisins, carrots, and apricots. Another extremely popular food is lagma, which is served as a hearty noodle stew. As a great starter to any meal, sherpa is an Uzbek lamb soup, which you can find in almost every eatery around the country. Manti are large steamed dumplings filled with a ground lamb or beef. Shivit oshi is probably the most colorful food in Uzbekistan. These bright green noodles are infused with dew, which makes them both tasty and flavorful. Bread is incredibly important in Uzbekistan. You're encountering people selling homemade bread in almost every market. Suzma is a plain yogurt for dipping your bread. It is so ubiquitous in Uzbekistan that there is not even a need to list it on restaurants' menus. Simply ask for it along with your bread. Oh, one more thing: 
you find the stacks of hover for sale at every major market in Uzbekistan, which deserves trying. Last but not least, let's discuss the sports of Uzbekistan. <music> The national sport Kapkri or horse polo is a team sport in which the horseman who throws the greatest number of carcasses into the toy of Kazan or finish ring and becomes the champion. Karash or wrestling is a form of traditional martial arts and a public sports entertainment game, which is similar to freestyle. Wrestling, but one of the advantages of crash rules is that they prohibit ground wrestling. Perhaps the most popular sport is football. National football team of Uzbekistan is one of the best in Asia. There is skiing in the mountains above Tashkent. The martial arts, particularly taekwondo and boxing, are also popular. It's worth mentioning that Uzbekistan first competed at the Asian Games in 1994. Uzbekistan has attended the Asian Games for seven times. Their athletes have won a total of 84 gold medals and 342 overall medals. Taking the 18th Asian Games as an example, during which Uzbek athletes won medals in karate, boxing, taekwondo, wrestling, weightlifting, judo, athletics, rowing, etc. Okay, I've only scratched the surface of the introduction to Uzbekistan, which enjoys a rich cultural heritage. Yet, you do need to visit this unique country if you want to know more about it and bring your soul. It is an oasis of peace, a land where Asian history and the liberal culture converge. Thanks a lot for watching. If you really liked this video, please continue to watch the following units. Have a good day. Sag bloom. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.